Hey, Greg here. So this is my first week exploring Ontario. I don't have a whole lot to say this week except for wow. 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 I love Ontario. So in this video, I'm basically just gonna rant about how much I love Ontario and why I can finally understand how one third of Canada lives here. I mean, I've been to Ontario a lot before, but it's always been in the South, Toronto, Mississauga, Hamilton, you know, the populated part with all the cities. So far, I've spent most of my time on secondary roads up in Northern Ontario, hopping on and off the Trans-Canada as needed. The first thing I noticed was how much fun driving is in Ontario, even on the main highways. I mean, there's so many twists and turns, there's so many trees and really cool rock formations, and every two minutes you pass a glorious lake. And on top of that, I've barely been on these main highways. Most of the roads I've driven in Ontario look something like this. It is so much fun on these back roads. Cottage country is amazing. There's so many lakes and so much of the land is crown land, so it's very, very easy to find incredible spots to camp. This week, I spent six out of seven nights around the campfire. My favorite spot so far is a place called Shaw Dam Lake. When I arrived, I was the only person there and it continued like that for two nights. So I had the whole lake to myself, beachfront real estate and everything. I swam to the other side of the lake and then I did a hike partway around it. I also really like the spot I found on Manitoulin Island. Great view and there was enough wood to get a huge fire going. I also did a hike on the island called the Cup and Saucer Trail. It had great cliffside views, but it's way too popular. Too many people on a hiking trail totally ruins the mood. My favorite hikes are when I don't have to share the trail with anyone. I drove a little further down Manitoulin Island to a place called Bridal Veil vale Falls. A beautiful waterfall, but again, way too many people. I hate feeling like a tourist because there's a big difference between a tourist and a traveler. Anyway, camping this week was amazing. I only stopped in one city, Sault Ste. Marie. I love this city. It's just got a great feel to it. I walked the boardwalk and some other trails they have near the river, although some of them are flooded. And here's something I find interesting. People refer to Sault Ste. Marie as Northern Ontario, but if you go any further south, you're no longer in Ontario. You're in the US. They literally have a bridge from Canada to the US in Sault Ste. Marie. Canadians are so weird with geography. We call this Southern Ontario, this Northern Ontario, and this whole section no one ever talks about. You know, it only makes up 75% of the province. It's just like how Edmonton is referred to as Northern Alberta, but really it's in Southern Alberta. That's always bugged me. It probably has to do with the fact that the vast majority of Canadians live down here. So anything above this area, we just call North. Anyway, I continued along Northern Ontario until I reached Sudbury on the last day of this week. I don't like Sudbury, although something exciting did happen. I saw a mugging take place. So this guy steals this girl's purse and starts running off and these two Good Samaritans tackle him to the ground. I was just parked watching this, so I figured I'd get out of my car and go help them. And then while I'm walking over, the mugger pulls a knife out. So needless to say, I went back to my car and watched from a distance. They wrestled for about five minutes until the mugger shook him off and ran away and the cops were a little too late to catch him. Not really a warm welcome into a city, but it was definitely an exciting event. So this weekend's in Sudbury. I still have a whole lot of camping in Ontario ahead of me. Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you same time, different place, next week. By the way, I found this pretty funny. There's a waterfall in Ontario that's literally called Water Falls. See you next week, guys.